titillating Tuesday. Tuesday. Does it make you laugh? Does it make you laugh? All right, welcome to titillating Tuesday. It is now the sixth of July, twenty twenty one. Right, titillating Tuesday has been like quite a lot on my mind, contemplating quite a few things. So I'd like to lay some on the mic. I've got no mic, but there's a mic. There's always a mic somewhere. <laughs> People listening, <laughs> you know. <laughs> anyway, so um, what? Uh, recently, I done a video on my trippy rants, explaining uh, with proof why I believe that Infinity is one. Um, so it's a continuation from there. So it's like because obviously um, my raison d'etre through my life has always been to try and understand how people can frequent my mind with their minds and uh, what kind of structures are we talking about uh, in terms of um, particles or, or, or entities in general that would allow for such a communication to take place <clears throat> because that's a non-conventional type of communication I mean if you talk about conventional communication which is speech uh, then when you talk about computerized communication um, voice over internet or whatever um, uh, those are the different communication uh, uh, um, uh, I'll say techniques uh, what is a uh, co uh, computer science word um, that we have out there uh, and there's also uh, things like Morse code and other signaling um, electromagnetic signaling as well um, that's out there uh, but this is a mind to mind communication um, platform or technique uh, what kind of structures uh, data units uh, in that realm yeah um, so figuring out infinity really helps because like when you look at um, I explained what the number one is and uh, number one and the internal one and the external one uh, if you look beyond the universe uh, where I explained to you that the infinitesimally small um, partition of the number one um, will effectively be zero um, to that one so um, if a, you have a universe that's got an infinitesimal amount of universes in it our uh, one universe is one of an infinite number of universes our uh, one universe becomes a zero to the external one <laughs> yeah so um, if um, we're to assume that it goes like that um, so when you're in my mind um, obviously um, you think you're someone <laughs> but outside of my mind <laughs> the whole world sees one and that's me the one yeah so whenever someone goes in there it's a different sequel to life you know it's a different domain it's a different world and that's my own one that's my own take on life so anything that goes in there I have to imagine it first of all because the light that comes from your eye to hit this um, camera um, or the light that comes from the camera to hit you, right? Uh, those are things that happen on the outside, um, but there's no light that comes from your eye to hit the camera unless it's reflected back and you see yourself in the mirror. But anyway, <laughs> um, but the light that makes the images in my mind doesn't come from an external source, it comes from an internal one. So um, I'm the light in that world, but I'm not in this one, yeah? So in the in internal world, um, basically um, it's a different situation you know yeah because you're nothing at the end of the day once you enter in there so all these perpetrators become nothing um, but when we're outside here that's when things become one and when we're beyond the universe that's when things become higher one but anyway let me do the joke for this week titillating run <laughs> titillating Tuesday it's like a titillating run um, so well, anyway here's a joke where in existence is your mind located? It's inside the inner here. <laughs> the inner here. You get it? Like I just said, <laughs> if this is one existence, then the internal uh, one of this, uh, in terms of my definition of infinity, is the inner here. This is here, and there's the inner here. And there might be an outer here. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> but 
sound like you know let me not explain it because like i was just ruining the joke yeah there, were, there wasn't many jokes because like i was taken by the concept of infinity and anything that possesses infinity in it is a special object you know if objects that con contain infinity um aspects to them are things which are in superposition where you can say there's an infinite number of possibilities about the nature of the object in the superposition but at the end of the day it's one object <laughs> like an electron cloud <laughs> that's an object that carries an infinite number of locations of electron <laughs> but when you look there's only one so it's a bit like that so when you in my mind you see an infinite number of uh, me's if you want but there's only one me yeah and it's the same with politics in it as a subject yeah but there's an object of politics that you can invent one politics is equal to and if the infinitesimally smallest part of uh, uh, politics multiplied by infinity so an infinite number of political conversations make one in one politics uh, structure or object <laughs> so that's what politics is because I don't know what it is and I don't do politics religion and things like that um, so <laughs> But I describe it superficially uh, in terms of an academic way of looking at the subject. Uh, it's basically in terms of mathematics. Yeah, every conversation is about about politics is an infinitesimal slice of the structure that is politics. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so that's called internal politics. <laughs> so, <laughs> so everything. You can, when you think that you look at is one, but it has an internal world, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So um, that's the Today in Tuesday for this week, the 6th of July 2021, and I'm out of here. Today in Tuesday, Tuesday, does it make you laugh? Does it make you laugh?